guys a uh, good day to all of you again let us have this uh, very simple problem in circuit analysis in basic electricity okay so according to the problem you are to calculate the number of free electrons in a copper conductor having a diameter of 0 0.064 inches and a length of 1000 feet so the conductor given again uh, are the diameter and the length it is stated here that the material that we are dealing with this problem is a copper its uh, diameter is 0 0.064 inches and the length is 1000 feet okay so we are required to get the number of free electrons so in this material where the length is given and the diameter is given what is the number of free electron let us remember for our solution that in one inch of conductor length containing an area of, of a square inches no? that will be equal to one cubic inches the amount of electrons in one cubic inch is 1.64 times 10 raised to the 24 power so the, this is the number of electrons in one cubic inch so we need this to solve for the required number of free electrons in this problem okay so what do we do oh, since that we are given here the diameter so we are to solve for the area Okay, we assume that our area is circular because this is a conductor it is not given here if it is silent we can assume that it is conductor with a circular cross-sectional area here the formula we know it already pi r squared we just substitute the value of the radius here to be able for us to get the area of the conductor and we are given here the diameter so we divide it by 2 and the radius will be given to us so we just uh, place that here in our R so that is 0 0.064 divided by 2 and that will be raised to the second power so if you have your calculator you just push it you just uh, use your calculator and then when you touch the equal button it will give you this value 3.2 times 10 raised to the negative 3 and the unit is square inch because this is area and also again our length is 1000 feet since that we are dealing here with uh, inches so we should convert this feet to inch so we take the conversion factor that in one foot there is an equivalent 12 inch so we place the 12 inch in our numerator and the feet in our denominator for cancellation so what remains is the unit inch when you multiply that it will give you 12,000 inch and uh, for the free electrons now we are solving now for the free electrons and for the formula of that so we take the area and you, you multiply it by the length we know it already that the area times the length will give us the volume of our material okay so this is actually the volume of the conductor and this one we can say that this is the conversion factor we can use this as a, as a conversion factor in the sense that uh, we know already that one cubic inch is equals to 1.64 times 10 to the 24 electron so we use this to be able for us to solve for the electron since that that uh, the unit of the area and the length is in cubic inch so 
cubic inch will be cancelled out because this will be in the numerator and this will be in the denominator. So it will be cancelled out and what remains is the electron. So we substitute now the value for the area which is 3.2 times into the negative 3 uh, square inch times 12,000 inch which is converted from uh, 1,000 feet. So you multiply that to the this one. 1.64 times 10 to the 24 electrons over 1 cubic inch. Now, if you get your calculator and just push it, and then when you use after you have uh, pushed the button for the equal sign, this will be in your display, which is 6.33 times 10 to the 25. This is electrons. I mean, this is the free electrons that we are uh, looking for for the copper conductor with diameter and length given so okay guys uh, thank you for watching and listening hope i contribute in your learning desire thank you so much